The Racking Bend. Hello everybody, welcome back. And today's little knot that I learnt is the Racking Bend. And the whole idea of this particular bend is that it's used to attach a small diameter rope to a larger di a diameter rope. So in other words, this could be your heaving line here. Once you've thrown it across onto a vessel, you can then attach it into the bend of a rope here like this and you then are able to pull, using the smaller line, to pull the larger line. Or whatever else you want to use it for. And I'm sure there's sailors out there that can tell me what else it's used for. So if you know, please do leave me a comment down below and tell me about this one. Okay, so the whole idea is that the racking bend is for joining two different size ropes together. So anyway, let me undo this and I'll see you on the other side. So let's get knotting and tie the racking bend. The racking bend is in, in fact more secure than the sheet bend and so there may, may be times when rather than having a sheet bend which can easily come undone you would want to attach a racking bend. And so what I've got here is I've got my smaller cordage is the yellow and my larger cordage or my larger rope is the rope itself. So the first thing I'm going to do is get hold of my rope and just put a bite in my rope like so. So as you can see, there's my working end of my rope, forms a bite, and I'm just gonna lay it out like so. Now the next thing I've done is, I've got myself about 18 inches of the smaller cord, and the first thing that I'm going to do is just pass the smaller cord, the working end of the smaller cord, down through the bite, like so, of my larger cord, and just pull the excess through like so. And this is a real doddle to tie. It, I love this one, it's so simple, so easy. The next thing, so we've gone down through the bite, underneath, and here we are coming out this end. What I do now is I take my smaller cordage and I take it over the rope itself and then under. So it's going over this point here, under that point there. And then just pull through the excess like so, and keep it fairly tight as you're going along. You can go around tightening up afterwards, but it's a little bit easier if you tighten up as you go along. So we've gone over this one here, under that one there. So I'm just gonna bring my working end back. We're going to go over this time and then under. So take it over the rope and then under like so, and bring it up so it's fairly snug to the other one. And that's all we're doing, is we're going to go over and under. So over and under, and then bring it back over and under. And then over and under like so. So there you go, you can see we've gone over and under like so. And then the final thing that I do is, I take my working end and I bring it over, and then you can see the previous loop that I've done there around the rope. I'm just gonna pass it through that like so, pass it through there like so, and then just gently pull up tight on it and then bring it all together. And there you can see now, we have created our racking bend. So now, as I put tension on this, it's not going anywhere. And you can actually draw it up closer if you want to. And the other thing about this as well is, if you feel as though you want some more security on this, there is no reason why you can't have a longer working end here and in that working end, put yourself a stopper knot. Up to you whether you want to do that or not, but you can see here now, we've got a very nice, simple system of joining two ropes together. So now I can pull on the yellow rope and take this one wherever I want to. So there you go, that was the racking bend. So once again, Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, usual thing, thumbs up, thumbs down if you hated it. But please, do leave me a comment and tell me if you actually use the racking bend yourself. Okay? So once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.